Hey guys, thanks for all of your great questions on surface area. I know it's kind of tough and that there are lots of formulas to use, uh, but keep up the good work and you're gonna be just fine on them, okay? One thing today, we're gonna to talk about the surface area of a cone. So when you have a cone, it has a circular base, which is pretty easy, but this side here doesn't quite lay out right, right? If you've ever tried to uh, put a like sheet of paper into a cone, right? If you take a piece of paper, let me grab one here, and you put it into a cone, right? There's always some sort of extra, right? There's always this like overlap here, or like the top you get overlap, and like it doesn't quite work out right. Um, and that's because the side of a cone really lays out into like a partial circle. So I'm gonna show you a quick visualization of that now. To help you get an idea of what this looks like whenever we are finding the surface area of a cone, this is a visualization of what happens when we open up those sides of the cone, all right? So you can see it there, how it lays out into a partial circle, right? It's not a whole circle because it's missing this little bit here, but it is a partial circle when we lay out just the side of the cone, all right? You've got to find the area of the base separately, but looking at the side, you can kind of see how we get this sector shape, um, a partial circle, for the area of the side of your cone, all right? So that gives you a little bit of a visualization of how to do that. Hopefully that visualization helped you with understanding the look of a net of a cone, like the nets we worked on last week where you're laying out the shape. Um, and here I'm gonna pop up a picture with that net so you can see the surface area formula and I'm gonna talk through the formula itself and how to use it. So the surface area for a cone is pi r squared, that's the area of the base, right? That's the, just the area of a circle. So that's fine in the area of the base, plus pi times the cursive L is slant height times your radius. So we have the slant height, or L, as you can see in the picture, and then you have r, which is the radius of your base, all right? And you can see both of those labeled in your picture there, uh, and so, while you might not understand why that's the case, as long as you can understand where to plug in your numbers into the formula, you'll be just fine. That's it guys, that's all there is to using the surface area of a cone, and hopefully if you get stuck, you'll reach out and ask me questions. I'm always here for you guys and happy to help. Have a good day guys.